Uh, good morning, and uh, thank you very much, Niels, and thank you all for attending this morning. Um, as Neil said, I'm John Henshaw, Executive Director of the Maine Port Authority. And um, just a word on what we do. Um, we invest in port and intermodal infrastructure to the benefit of the state's economy. Now, when you're investing in infrastructure, you're basically taking a bet on the future. And so um, when you think about that, the investments you're making may have a 20, 30, 50 year lifespan. And so, therefore, it's really about um, your best bet on what the future might bring. So we could have bet on this future, and this future is really about, from our perspective, about connecting Asia and North America in an efficient way. Um, but this is not the future we decided to invest in. It's not a future we would rule out at some time in the future, but we chose to invest in this future. And this future connects Maine and North America to the North Atlantic, the High North, and the Arctic. And that's really our area of focus. We see real opportunities in this area, and uh, so this is where we're going to uh, place our bet on the future. And why, uh, why did we choose this future? In part because of this man. This is Gilfie Sigfusson, CEO of Aimskip. And he um, made a bet on us. He made a bet on the Port of Portland when he decided to make Portland the North American logistics hub for Aimskip. And this did a number of things for us, but probably the most important thing it did for us is make a connection to uh, Maine and North America to these important markets in Eastern Canada, uh, Scandinavia, and the rest of Northern Europe. And so in addition uh, to giving us access to those markets, give us access to uh, the rich natural resources of the region. Uh, you can see them overlaid here on the, um, on the shipping network, network of Aimskip. And in particular, I would uh, um, point out the uh, rich fisheries uh, resources that we, will, uh, we do have access to today. And these include things like salmon from the Faroe Islands, haddock from northern Norway, cod from Iceland, uh, shrimp and, and halibut from Greenland and Newfoundland, and uh, just to name a few. On the other hand, and this was a subject of discussion at dinner the other evening, um, gave us uh, access to markets for our wild Maine blueberries, our potatoes from northern Maine, um, our uh, frozen processed lobster from the coast of Maine, and it gave us uh, access into a, um, a market that we have a great affinity for. Additionally, because a lot of these um, markets uh, have requirements for, uh, for imports, we were able to uh, export things like uh, trucks and cars and boats and um, uh, construction supplies, uh, household goods, all kinds of um, potential there. And then the final question is, why do we do this? We do this for the future generations. And uh, this is a picture from last Tuesday. Uh, there are two uh, women in the center of this picture, are U Arctic Youth Ambassadors. This was on board the Arctic schooner Bowdoin when it sailed into uh, the port of Portland, Maine uh, with Admiral Pat. And with that, I'll close my remarks for the time being. Thank you.